I am Anushka Malhotra and I studied masters in marketing and strategy. I would like to define myself as an impact, a purposeful impact driven storyteller and I'm the head of marketing for an economic development agency called Tech West Midlands and we essentially help uh, to grow the West Midlands tech sector and uh, establish it as the next super tech and digital power. The University of Warwick is uh, one of the, the most coveted and uh, globally recognized universities and it has been consistently placed as one of the top universities not just in Europe but globally as well. It helped me back or rather pave the path to get the global talent visa and that kind of opened a lot of doors of opportunity. I met a lot of people, built that sort of a network, of professional network as well and that has been quite a, a turning point for me professionally. My name is Jessica Smriti and I studied cybersecurity management at Warwick. Warwick education helped me understanding the technicality of uh, how the cybersecurity domain works and what are the nitty gritty details and information and insights about cybersecurity and how can we cater to different kind of audiences, how we can make people who are from non-technical background to understand what cybersecurity is. These subjects helped me out to prepare for job applications. As a result, I had five job offers uh, before even I graduated. The University of Warwick holds a quite a diverse culture. Uh, there are people from all walks of life, uh, high caliber, intensive sort of people who kind of encourage you uh, to outperform yourself and outgrow yourself. So that that healthy competition, so to speak, is something that kind of creates us. Uh, and yeah, and I take pride in being an alum at, of the University of Warwick. When I came here, um, it was a cultural shock for me at first because uh, coming from India, you explore the world. You explore different cultures, different people from different uh, countries, uh, making friends, uh, going out during weekend. Uh, we got access to different cities altogether. So yeah, it was a very fun uh, time at Warwick. I've been here for the last four years and I love this country. <laughs> Things are different, places are different, the scenic view is different. Since we have a lot of uh, Indian friends over here, uh, they can cook home food. So we don't miss our home that much, but uh, home is home. You're in England and English is one of the uh, widely spoken languages in India. So language barrier was never a, an issue. There are a lot of Indian restaurants to be honest, so that kind of helps. And a lot of opportunities and avenues to socialize. So it is not that hard, but it also isn't that easy. I think the best way to deal with those challenges is um, to reach out to peers, build a solid network don't isolate yourself, stay in touch because that's what the university and the different societies are here for, to make you feel welcome, to make you feel like you belong here and you're a part of it. So don't isolate yourself, feel belong because there are people around you to help you. The favorite memories of uh, Warwick, we had like few social events where we went. Uh, since I was a recipient of WMG Excellence Scholarship, Warwick organized this event where all the scholarship holders were there, were present, the professors were present. Overall, it was a very good experience. I stayed at Lakeside, it was on campus, and I still remember there's this little dock outside, just outside the dorm. And uh, I remember right before the exams, I used to uh, pace up and down the dock just to like, you know, get my head in place and create that sort of uh, mind-body balance to be able to get on with the assignment. So that has been uh, one of my fond memories. Um, the other one was definitely the spontaneous road trips. But yeah, they've been some good memories. The advice that I would give to any incumbent student who is considering the University of Warwick is definitely exploit the resources that you have. Ask for help because people around here are there to offer it. You need to just go and grab onto the opportunities and really just make this an experience worth everything that you've left to come so far. Just come with an open, minded, uh, open mind and uh, 
think that uh, you are exploring the world you will meet people from different culture you will meet people from from your your country as well and uh, try to gel up with people try to uh, see the country the beautiful country which you have don't be afraid just come here at warwick and warwick will welcome you